Hello. So as always, I apologize about the glare. I'm getting some more technology here. Like I got my monitor attached to the wall so I have a little bit more space. It's nice. And I'm going to work on this problem. Three masses are in a, um, I guess, at the corners of a triangle. And they are connected. You have masses. And they are connected by massless rigid rods. And the you want to know the coordinates of the center of mass. They give you uh, the answer. The answer is um, x eight centimeters, y five centimeters. Um, it's a little bit too high, but I'll make sure that you can see the rest. Okay, so you know, keep those in mind. The figure that we are given we have the y axis and the x axis. You have a mass over here, at, which seems to be the origin of 200 grams. Uh, over here, you have a mass of 100 grams. And over here, you have a mass of 300 grams. Uh, this distance is 12 centimeters, and this distance over here is 10 centimeters. So you can figure that one out. Um, that's it. So, Uh, the center of mass is a weighted average. So it's just like your GPA. You know, your GPA, you get a number of credit hours. For this course, it will be four. Well, that's too high. Um, you have four credit hours. And let's say that you get an A. That's uh, four points. So you get a total of 16, right? Let's say that there is this other class that you really, really hate. I don't know, something like um, philosophy of cinema or something like that. And so, you know, that's three credit hours. And, you know, you really hate it. So you get a C, which is a two points. So you get uh, six points from here. So GPA points. So um, what is your average? Well, it's the 16 plus the six, that's 22 divided by the number uh, of credit hours, so seven. So um, 22 over seven, that's like a, you know, 3.1 or something like that. What if you get an A in this class? Well, then you get four points over here. And so 12 GPA points over here. You add 12 over here. So this will be 28 divided by seven. You get your 4.0 GPA. So your GPA, just like the center of mass, it's a weighted average. And I'm going to show you how you weight the center of mass.
Uh, let's say that this is the zero zero. Um, so the axis, you know, y and x vertical and horizontal axis are independent. And that's why in the answer for this problem, you have an answer for x and an answer for y. So what is the center of mass um, in, in x? Well, you have, um, let's say, sure, you know, 200 grams um, at zero in the i direction. Um, plus uh, 100 grams, then the distance is 0.12 meters. And I would prefer to keep all of these in kilograms just because, you know, then you don't have to worry about the units. Everything makes sense if you have uh, consistent units. And uh, you also have this other mass, right? So the 0.3, and that one is also at 12 centimeters, so 0.12 meters. And that still fits, yes. Okay, so uh, over here you have uh, 0.1, times 0.12, over here is zero, right? So zero, we're gonna get rid of i because it is clear that we're in i. Um, this one is 0 0.012 kilogram meter, and this one is uh, 0 0.036 kilogram meter. And then you divide by the total mass, which is 0.2 kilograms plus 0 0.1 kilograms plus 0 0.3 kilograms. So this is 0 0.6. Uh, the kilograms go away, right? So this one with this one and with this one, you end up with meters. So this whole thing, the numerator is 0 0.012 plus 0 0.036, that's 0 0.048 kilogram, um, meters. We got rid of our kilograms. Divided by 0 0.6, uh, we got rid of the kilogram, so that, that has no units. So that's 0 0.8, 0 0.08, sorry, meters. So that is your 8 centimeters. So you see how this is just a weighted average, just like your GPA. So the, uh, the mass, I guess it doesn't matter very much, but the mass is kind of the grade and then the distance from where you are rotating it or or where your origin is, um, the distance is kind of your grade. So you get the 0 0.08 meters. And we can do the same thing for y. So, In this case, both this one and this one are at y equals zero. So the only one that matters is this one, the 300 grams, which is at a distance 10 centimeters. So uh, it's just 0 0.3 kilograms times 0 0.1 meters divided still by the total mass, even though they don't count because they are at y equals zero. This still counts towards the mass. So you know, this is kind of like a getting um, like an F. Um, 
So that's 0.3, and then we did 4 and 0 0.6, right, kilograms. So this is the kilograms go away, uh, 0 0.03 meters divided by 0 0.6. Is that right? And you get the 0 0.5 meters is the only thing in there. So you get your, oh, 0 0.5, sorry. You can still see that, yes. So you get your, your answer, x is, Eight centimeters. Y is five centimeters. So you know nothing easier than calculating uh, your GPA, right? I had this friend when I was in college, who was kind of a jerk, um, and so he always had a, a four point zero GPA. Um, but UTEP, you know, I went to UTEP. Um, until his very last semester, he got a B in like politics two or something. And then he was complaining that he didn't know how to calculate a GPA because he never had to. Well, you know, most of us mortals, we have to learn how to do this. So uh, the good thing is that if you know how to calculate your GPA, you know how to calculate the center of mass. All right, hope you enjoyed. That story. Bye.